What's going on everyone? Hope you're doing well. Today I'm going to try out a new bait. It's a company called Appalachian Baits. I'd seen a post on Facebook and uh, had reached out to them and Alan, uh, who is the owner, um, actually sent me these. You know, these are the top three products that they have. Uh, they have the garlic litter, roadkill, and blaze orange. Um, hopefully the smell isn't the names. If I've heard it correctly though, it's just more of a, of a naming convention than really a smell thing. Um, when I was also looking into learning more about it, I came across this YouTube channel, NRV Outdoors, and the guy just did an absolutely phenomenal job uh, demonstrating how he fished with it, and so I'm going to be using quite a few of his tips and tricks related to it. So he fished with a trout magnet jig and a float, or one of the easy floats. I'm going to try, I'm going to start off without the float, but uh, I may uh, put a float on uh, later on. But anyway, I'm going to leave a link to NRV Outdoors, uh, their channel. Uh, as well as Appalachian Baits website um, and uh, what's neat about these that I'm really intrigued with this is the first time I really I'll be fishing with doe bait um, but they come in two and a half ounce uh, containers and what's unique about this if I've understood correctly is a lot of the baits a lot of doe baits will actually end up floating these guys are designed to actually sink so they'll flow uh, float down the stream more naturally but uh, so that seemed to be something very interesting as well so in other words a weighted jig like i'll be using with the trout magnet jig is not needed you can just use a regular hook and it'll still sink down so anyway um, i'm gonna try over here at this river this creek today and we'll go from there but once again thank you so much to alan at appalachian baits and just as a clarification it is appalachian not appalachian especially if you go to appalachian state the way how I think about it is, if you say it wrong again, I'm going to throw an apple at you. So, anyway, let's catch some fish. Alright, so the first color I'm going to use is the blaze orange. I've heard really good things about this. And I'll be taking out a little portion, kneading it into a ball, and then putting it on my barbless trout magnet hook, trout magnet jig. I'm planning on just doing catch release today, but I have understood that doe baits uh, often will get gut hooked, and so I do have my stringer and uh, an ice ready for the fish if needed. Take a look at this guy. All right, it doesn't really have much of a smell. Interesting. Nice glitter. All right, so I'm going to try to just knead it up a little bit long. I like playing with Play-Doh. I guess that's sort of the idea. Yes. One thing about um, Appalachian baits, uh, that I was discovering is they uh, do request that the baits be kept in the refrigerator, uh, just more for the uh, you know, maintaining consistency and the smell. Uh, they do have these scented as well. Let's see if we can catch anything. So today I'm fishing with the um, my Akuma Salilo and my Cadence uh, Reel. I believe I have two pound trout magnet SOS line. Now in the description for the Appalachian baits, um, or on their website, they do say that uh, this has been designed primarily for trout. Uh, the, Alan, the owner, uh, said that he started this up last March, so right as COVID start, uh, he started creating these dough baits for uh, uh, for a, a pond that he has at his, I believe he's got a campground. And so decided to uh, make some baits that would work well in his pond. And they were so successful, he was like, you know, let's try like elsewhere. 
and they've just been going crazy. He's also, they've all, they also report that they have caught other species besides trout, but they primarily want to focus on trout. So as I said, blaze orange doesn't really smell very potent or anything. It'll be definitely interesting to see how garlicky the garlic is and what sort of smell they decide to come up with the roadkill. Oh, there was something there. There's a, there's a fish. All right. Here's a little one. Oh my goodness, very tiny one. <laughs> Man, look, just barely hooked. Barely hooked. All right, bud. Don't really have a good spot. And there he swims away. All right, two fish. Hope he'll get a little bit larger size, but hey. The stuff does catch. Oh, nice. All right, number three. All right, so that was Blaze Orange. It catches fish. All right, next we're going to do the garlic glitter. Yep, that definitely smells like garlic, I'll tell you that. Thankfully, nothing too potent, once again. Not as bad as you expect, I guess. <laughs> I've heard good things about this one as well. All right, so move further up the road. Um, I was looking down and saw just a good old patch of trout over here so we'll see if they uh, like the garlic all right so guys I know they just stocked the stock the waters here so let's see if we can have some fun oh there we go garlic glitter All right, let's go for fish number two. There's a jumper there. Oh, stole my bait. I think I'm getting good placement. <laughs> They're just jumping like crazy. Dead, gonna. <laughs> you see him going after it. Yep. 
Got him on. Got him on. Got him off. Here I so what So worried about putting my uh, rod up. Didn't even watch the fish go. Woohoo! Don't got it. Plenty of them, but haven't been able to land them. I blame me, and with the fact that I'm not doing, I don't have a barb on here. And I'm not really setting the hook well anyway. A lot to learn, guys. A lot to learn. There you go. There you go. Stay on. I don't have my net on me. I left it at one of the other houses. So that's also what's causing me issues. All right, doggone it. Let's get a float. <laughs> So this is the easy float made by Trout Magnet. Very simple. Put your fishing line right through here. Then you have your little plug. Stick it in. That'll hold your line in. Makes it very easy to move up and down. This water isn't too deep, so I'm going to try just right here, starting off. Just right in. And then that's it. Here's one to stay, to stay on there. All right, we got ourselves another fish, y'all. Two. That's so cool. <laughs> So they're just letting it go right past. Oh, oh. <laughs> I was talking and last second one goes towards it. All right, let's try this roadkill though, just because I got to know what does this thing smell like? Okay, not bad. There we go. There we don't go. All right, so they're biting roadkill now. That's a weird thing to say. There we go. Stay on. Stay, got off. This barbless hook is killing me today. All right. Unfortunately, I am out of time. Appalachian Baits, thank you, thank you so much for the products. The fish were really enjoying it. I was just having difficulties actually hooking them up. Definitely check them out, AppalachianBaits.com. Also, don't forget to check out NRB Outdoors, uh, the YouTube channel see more awesome fishing content. That's all for now. Goodbye. God bless. See you soon.